Hello, I'm Jacob and this is the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Uh, the first Glock that I ever purchased recently was this uh, Glock 17. This is the Vickers edition. So what I wanted to do with you today, first was to talk to you about why I bought the Vickers edition Glock instead of the new Gen 5. Uh, then we'll do a little, uh, basically an unboxing and I'll show you what the Vickers Glock 17 comes with. We're gonna do some a little bit of shooting, put about 100 rounds through it, and uh, get it zeroed in. And then I'm gonna talk about my first impressions about the pistol, so stick around. So there's three primary reasons why I picked up the Vickers Glock over a new Gen 5, and I'm gonna tell you what they are in order from least important to most important. Uh, the least important reason is that uh, I think that the Vickers Glock is cool. Um, came with uh, Wilson Combat Sights and a Tritium Night Sight on the front. And uh, I kind of like this RTF2 uh, grip pattern here. A lot of people are a fan of that and I just think it's cool. So that's the smallest reason. Um, the next reason, I actually uh, prefer the trigger. All right, so we're empty. Let's say that Glocks have a 5 8 inch trigger pull, just over a half inch. The, Gen, the Vickers, which is based on a Gen 3 Glock, the, like most Glocks, your first half inch of pull is going to just kind of be this mush, and then you hit resistance, and then if you pull another eighth of an inch, you get a break. It's like a two-stage trigger, and I'm quite fond of it. Uh, I've used it quite a bit. Now, a lot of people will never know the difference between the Gen 1, 2, 3, 4 triggers and the Gen 5. A lot of people have handled both and still don't notice the difference. To me, it's a huge difference, but not an important difference. So, the new Glock trigger is still the same length pull, maybe 5 eighths of an inch, but instead of pulling up a half an inch of slack here and hitting resistance, you just have five-eighths of an inch of mushy slack and then a break. Um, I've heard it said that it builds progressively. That may be the case. Essentially, what you go from is a two-stage trigger where you can feel exactly where the break's going to be, in my opinion, and then you hit it, instead of that, in 5 eighths of an inch, you get a 5 eighths inch long, mushy, gushy trigger. It's, that's an, I don't like it. Now, for practical use, it doesn't matter. Go train with your pistol, it's literally not going to matter at all. So, um, that was just a personal preference thing. And the third and only real important reason is simply that the Glock Gen 5 is new, and I want to give Glock some time to sort out any problems that may arise with it, um, which happens with just about everything that's new. I expect that, so I went with something that's tried and true. Um, I like the Gen 3s, kind of with reason number one. Uh, they have small controls, which I like, small mag release, small slide release. Um, and they made it for a long time. Uh, it's got an awesome track record, so it... it it was a good decision for me, and uh, and I don't regret it at all. So, I talked a little bit about the small controls. Now, if you get the Vickers Edition Gen 3 with the RTF2 frame, it comes with some additional accessories, which I'll show you now. By the way, I realized that uh, when I was filming just now, the gun was unsafe. There was no magazine in the well. There was no round in the chamber. I do not keep firearms in an unsafe uh, method uh, like that. Uh, so it is now safe with a magazine in the well and around in the chamber as it should be. Uh, I only did that so that I could demonstrate what I was talking about with the trigger. So uh, it's safe now and uh, I'm on top of it, don't worry. So for our open box here, this is what uh, the Vickers Tactical Glock 17 comes with. Like I mentioned before, it's based on a Glock Gen 3 frame with RTF2, uh, RTF2 frame or whatever, it's a Gen 3. Um, what that entails is uh, this color 
uh, Mariglow front sight, Wilson combat rear sight. I like this because uh, it's very similar to the sight setup that I had on my 1911. Um, of course, like a normal Glock, you get your little cleaning rod and there's a little brush in there. You get some little stickers. You get two magazines and a little Glock magazine loader here, like normal. Uh, you get two of these base plates. They do not come installed. You get an extended mag release that's not installed and an extended slide stop that's not installed, which is part of what's really nice about the Vickers setup is some of these little parts just are included. So if you want them, you can use them. If you don't want them, you don't have to. I think that was kind of clever on their part and considerate. So what I'm about to do now is get to shooting, uh, get zeroed. Um, I'll be using this Federal 115 grain aluminum case stuff that I got from Walmart for cheap. Um, five of the mags that I'm using are uh, Magpul mags, P19. And uh, they are for the Glock 17, and they hold 17 rounds. And so this will begin the reviewing process on those. But uh, there you have it. That is the Vickers Glock 17 package. This is the target that I'm using. It's uh, the Skella target from Extended Gun, extendedgun.com. I won a package of these targets in a Facebook giveaway, and I have done a review, so I'll put a card to that review above. It's a goofy video, but uh, hopefully someone enjoys it. But I really like these targets a lot, and I continue to I plan to continue to use them, and maybe I could even talk uh, extended gun into just sending me some more. So uh, these are really cool. I think they're a great training aid, and. Uh, I think that uh, this is the type of target that uh, people should practice on and shoot at. When you get a firearm like this Glock that has uh, sights that can be moved, this one does come with an Allen wrench so that you can adjust the sights. Make sure that you have uh, some brass, brass punches so that you can drift them yourself and uh, some blue Loctite. So once you have your zero set, blue Loctite everything. Blue Loctite all the things. Now when you're zeroing, ideally you want your target to be precisely kind of at uh, self-defense-ish range. So uh, with that being said, uh, let's, get, uh, let's get to zeroing. Stop! Looks like I'm shooting slightly to the left. Must be the gun's fault. Just kidding. So I just got done finished. I just got finished shooting my 100 rounds. All right. So this down here for zeroing, shooting a little bit left at about 15 yards up here. This is a lot of you suck, as in I suck. Um, this is a bit of shooting, moving, and a little more distance. Clearly, uh, this is my first time shooting this pistol, and I haven't been shooting enough, so it's time to do more of that. Um, what do I think of the Glock? Well, I shot 100 rounds through it. 
That says absolutely nothing because it was clean and lubricated before I was shooting and anything should be able to go through 100 rounds without malfunction. Uh, I did have ex uh, ejection straight back um, and uh, that seems less than optimal. Maybe that will get broken in. We'll just have to see. But uh, all in all, very happy uh, with the pistol. Um, and the only thing that there is left to do is to do more shooting and get more time with it. Um, so, you know, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, you'll see a lot more videos of me shooting this little Glock here, as well as some other stuff. Uh, first impressions, it's a great little pistol. Uh, I'll be carrying it every single day, and uh, I enjoy it. So, we'll see. As far as these Magpul mags, listen to this. You hear that kind of, it's kind of springy. You almost felt that when I was shooting. Had no issues. They're, uh, they're lightweight. I can feel the weight difference. But when you shoot, you almost hear it like a little clang. Almost feel like it, you feel it like reverberating. It's kind of weird. So uh, nothing bad about that. Just something I thought that I would mention. And uh, I got these on sale for 11 bucks a pop shipped from Brownells. So not only if they ever fail, I know Magpul would uh, hook me up, but if they didn't hook me up, Brownells would. So for training mags, they are, I think they are going to be a win. It's too early to say, but uh, get all these base plates spray painted orange, and I am certain they will make wonderful training mags. Fight back!